Hey guys. Hello. Hi. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to share with you guys, um, well, some portion of the two journals that I've been working in and, um, I completed, I, I sort of worked in these both at the same time. Um, this is a journal, um, I got from Jessica Rapp's, um, beautiful shop. Her, you know, her journals are just amazing. Um, and so signature, this is just the wrap signature here, this beautiful book jewelry. And then, um, Rita Donnelly made this for me, um, as a gift and sent it to me, gosh, guys, like <laughs> a long time ago. Um, and so I finally, um, you know, I shouldn't say finally, because I, I tend to write in my books. Um, I glue in them. I do everything. So, you know, a little disclaimer here. There's no rules. There's no rhyme or reason to how I use my books. Um, I, I am using Tiff's journal just for gluing only and sort of like um, journaling with, you know, just with pictures. And, and some pictures are just randomly chosen because I like them. And then um, uh, one or two of Rosemary's um, books I'm using as glue books um, without that, you know, that much writing in them. Um, so my journaling style is, guys, I have a whole box, like, a, like two big boxes of journals that I just literally wrote in um, years and years and years and years and years ago. Um, and they stem from the 90s, maybe some earlier than that, up through, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, 2000 and 2000, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember, but, and they're just, they're just, they're, they're journals with just like daily recordings of things. I have lots of, of, um, um, experiences and moments and, you know, things that my daughter and I did or my sister and I did before she was a mom, um, vacations and things like that, that my dad and, and, um, you know, our, our family, my sister, my daughter, my dad's two stepkids, um, we all used to take together, um, in California, Monterey Dunes Colony every year. And so I kind of, you know, kind of documented those kinds of things, but I will say that, um, when I started to, you know, create junk journaling kits, um, as I watched journal makers and artists make books, um, I, my journaling was just writing in, in journals. Um, I, the junk journaling community has always fascinated me from, from day one. Um, and Shannon Green is one of the very first people, artists that I encountered. And, um, and then it just kind of, you know, kind of snowballed <laughs> just downhill, from, downhill from there. Um, and I started to make junk journaling kits, um, watching by watching artists and what they do these days guys i just make them when i can um i'm not an artist i don't make journals i am a junk journal supplier and um but i still from time to time collect i will i have guys my sister my mother they they all think i'm nuts because i get junk from them um if you haven't gone over to see rosemary morris's series that she's doing um, with making books out of junk. I sent her a bunch of junk. A lot of it came from my sister's house, my brother-in-law's house, my mom's house, our house, um, you know, and so I just get it from various places and, um, and it's just really fun. And I try to keep it organized somewhat. It's more organized than the boxes in the corner behind me where I host, host, um, boxes to mail things. So anyway, with all that said, what else was I going to tell you guys? Yeah. So I just get stuff from everywhere. I've even approached, um, people in, oh my gosh, one day I took my mom. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joanne's at all. Not unless it's something like glue or some scissors or a stapler or, um, if I absolutely have to have those little tiny itty bitty little Tim Holtz paper clips, I love those things so much. Um, something like that. Mm, yeah, but everything I have is recycled or I, I got it at a thrift store, at an estate sale, a flea market, a resale shop, um, Goodwill. 
which I haven't been to, and it's one of the really big ones that um, I hope to take a trip um, to see what's what's happening there. That it, There's always some good stuff. So I don't shop at any of those things. Everything that I have um, from, for my junk journaling kits that I've always used since I started uh, curating junk journaling kits is vintage stuff. Sometimes there, there'll be some newer things like paper pads that I find used at thrift stores or flea markets or resale shops or um, 25 cents op shops, those kinds of things. You know, I'm always looking around all over the place um, and I'm always finding a lot of good stuff. So anyway, let me stop yapping um, and get down to business here. Jessica's, this book, um, Jessica Rap made me, it came with the, with the chain that went from here to here, but it grew out. And so I just put it up here on this beautiful book jewelry here that, um, you know, that she has uh, beautifully put together. I just love her books. I love her style. I love her books. And I, yeah, I've kind of smashed it right there together because <laughs> it's been sitting up a lot. So the little ties are smashed. I can't show a lot in this one. And, um, and that's because, oh my gosh, my husband's going to start with the radio. He's right outside the window. My brother-in-law is on his way over here. So they're, they're actually going to the flea market tomorrow. My oldest brother-in-law is and set up a booth um, so that he can um, sell some of his appliances and products and things like that. So they're using my husband's van. So they're going to load the van all the way up with all the stuff that my brother-in-law so stores stores here at our house um and they're gonna have a booth and everything out at the flea market tomorrow if i go which i don't know i may or may not because i have a, a lot of stuff to do here etsy things i need to get some new book listings and um make some more videos i found some really cool books um that i want to share with you guys that to see to give you guys a chance to see if you want to buy them before they go up in my etsy shop um, and so I may just hang out at home and let them have at it. <laughs> so the, if you hear the radio in the background, they're just kind of, my brother-in-law's not here yet, but my husband's right out this window. And so you might hear the radio. Um, there, there won't be any music or anything like that. Well, there might be, but you won't be able to tell what it is. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? I think that's it. Okay. So this book, I can't show you a lot because it's got a lot of, um, sort of secret journaling in it but I can I'll show you some of the pages and how, what they look like because I um let's see let me get a oh my gosh now he my husband's gonna do the squeegee toys with the dogs um so I can show you some parts of it I'll use this to cover up things because I don't know how to do the blurring thing quite quite yet I tried it one time but this particular book um, has been a lot of fun, was a lot of fun. I filled it up fairly quickly. So let me just sit it down here. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. With Rita's book, I'm going to read some of the, um, it's my um, gratitude journal. And so I'll read, I love this image. This came out of a Trader Joe's image. Isn't she fabulous? love it and this is some of that envelope um oh i know what else i was gonna say if you haven't gone over to check out uh, rosemary morris's um new series on making a book out of trash um you should i mean it's it's gonna be amazing it's it's started out amazing um i know guys i'm sorry there's not a lot to see because i have to cover everything up <laughs> um but you can kind of see, you know, my, you know, how I write in them. And <laughs> um, anyway, here's a page you can, I can share with you because I, I do write all over my books. Um, and then, of course, I was also going to say, um, I got this out of a Trader Joe's um, paper too. And there's some more of those really cool envelopes, the back of those um, envelopes. And I just glued some fabric down in here. Um, and this looks really nice next to the page where I've written things down. So it looks pretty cool um, when you look at it together. I'm not completely done with, I mean, I write all over this. I've even written on the, um, the, um, hold on just a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So 
this page I think is okay. You can <laughs> sort of see that. And I just journaled in here talking about my students and some things that they were writing about. Um, and of course, just talking about um, coffee dyed paper all day, ate good food, chatted with my husband and my sister, my mom, and so on. And so, yeah, I, I fill this book up um, to the max and just put so many different types of papers in here. That's another thing that I like about her um, her journals. Um, the papers are just such a, a beautiful variety. So I'm not going to read through all of this, but you can see where, not read through it, but you know what I mean. Like, It's so hard for me to show you guys this. Let me just flip through some pages where there's no writing. Um, here's one here. That's kind of fun. And I think I put some stuff under there. That's a grocery receipt. Um, yeah, let's see here. And then, of course, with Rita's, I'm going to be a little bit more liberal um, with Rita's because it's it's a gratitude book. Um, I love this image. So I put this in here. This is some of my great auntie's fabric from um, her sewing basket, you know. Um, I come from a family of seamstresses. Um my earliest fondest memory is sitting on a, the sofa. I've shown you guys pictures of my great grandmother next to my great grandmother. I used to shell peas next to her that we would get from the country from Crockett when we would take trips down there. Um, and I also remember sitting next to her as a young child, hand sewing um, little squares together for quilts because my grandmother did quilting and so did my great grandmother. Um, but they mostly, my aunt and my grandmother mostly used a machine when they, they would sew. My grandmother and my great-grandmother would sew by hand. Um, so anyway, this is some of my great auntie's fabric here. And then I just collaged um, some different pieces. I love the backs of envelopes. And I'm going to get back to, uh, um, and I love this image here. I think this is such a beautiful image. Um, a mom and a daughter, and she's reading to her. Um, hold on. Let me, let me get it together here. Cause I got a, <laughs> I've got receipts and stuff in here and all the pockets that, um, that Jessica put in here, guys, I filled them up. This is a horrible show of this, uh, beautiful book, but it's mostly writing. That's why I'm not showing a lot. Cause it's mostly writing. Um, there's another fun page. So what I was saying also is that, um, I'm going to read some of my stuff from Rita's book to you guys. I think there's some, you know, I don't mind sharing that kind of thing with you. Um, I'll, oh, I know what I was going to say. In addition to Rosemary uh, making a trashy, um, beautiful art trashy book, um, I saw April at Pink Oddbird make one as well. And hold on, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me, I saw April, um, oops, did I put, put, can I put that in there? <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is our story at the bottom. So I drew some little doodling things in there. All of these pages are written on. I've written like on every page in Jessica's book. And then of course I save, you know, some pieces to collage on and to, um, I collaged over her pocket, um, uh, what do you call it? Pocket insert, I guess. And then I put some grocery receipts in there. And this was another um, page I did some collaging on as well. Um, let's see. Here I'm talking about people and wearing masks on a guest check. And I love bicycles. Um, I lived, practically lived my life, even though I had my dad's old 1981 BMW um, the 525 series, um, when I was in California and in college, um, I rode my bicycle everywhere. I, I mean, I literally rode it everywhere to the bank, um, to even to my doctor's office, to the store, grocery store. I had a basket where I shopped. <laughs> it was so much fun. Where's that? I think I got this from, this came off of Melanie's, um, some, something I bought from Melanie. I believe. Um, let's see. And then I hear I'm talking about flow journals. And I've glued this beautiful 
brown skin woman in there. There's some stuff in this pocket here. Um, uh, my husband and I are doing some cleaning, so let's see. Okay, uh, this is where I was preparing to sell some needlework kits. I was working on my stitchery kits. I bought this beautiful butterfly card from, I think, the brown pear. Um, and there's another page there where I've collaged. And I finished Jessica book this book pretty quickly because I, I mean, I wrote it up and and I wrote in it. I I did a lot of of secret journaling in it. Um, that's not really so secret because, you know, it's almost just about on every page that I've written on. There's some, something. Look at the little uh, Volkswagen here. <laughs> so cute. And then right here I put, it's a secret. You can't see that there. This is one of my digitals. I just, um, I don't know what I did. Maybe I, oh, I know what I did. I stenciled over it. So that's one of my digitals. By the way, my digitals are all 50% off. Um, in my shop still, this is the last, April will be the last month. So I think it's it's through the end of April or towards the latter part um, of April. I don't have a date, but everything in there is 50% off. Lady on her bicycle. Butterfly and a label. I love putting, look at this, how this came out. This is, I think I showed you guys this before. This is my coffee dyed paper. And I set one of the, um... My husband has a lot of little odds and end pieces, metal pieces like these water noz nozzle thingies. Um, and so I set it, I think I set it down in the coffee paper on top of the paper to hold it down into the coffee dye. And it came out like that. Isn't that cool? And then this is just some washi tape around there. Um, I um, am in love with the Statue of Liberty. And this is a recurring theme in a lot of my books. They're just a lot of fun. Um, let's see. What else in here? More journaling. Lots more journaling. Um, oh, I've got some secret journaling in here. Sorry, guys. I don't have allergies or anything. My nose was just itchy. I was outside right before I came back on helping my husband with the dogs corral the dogs because the gates like open. And um, yeah, I just had a sneeze there and. Yeah, but my allergies, everybody else is suffering now. It's my turn again in, in September. Oh, right now I'm good. But anyway, I put some secret journaling in this little coin um, pocket. And this came from a little hand-stitched, um, I don't know, packaging. And there's another collage page. Um, this $3 was on something. I just like the way it was written on that old masking tape and um, I just decided to stick it in there that reminds me of my great grandmother um, and my great auntie just old things you know old paper old tape things and then um, <clears throat> let's see here I'm talking about true courses reminds of struggle <laughs> Yeah, this is okay. Um, this part, let me put, cover up this part. I'm just talking about school. And then I changed subjects and was talking about something else that makes me very happy. <laughs> um, here's a card in there. There's um, Sue's uh, label, the brown pear. These were my cards I found, but a lot of my beautiful playing cards that I get that I don't have very many of come from her. Um, so there's that. And I just love these papers that um, Jess put in here. This is one of my, um, this is one of my uh, digitals here. So, yeah. You might hear some noise. That I think the neighbors are outside, too. And they're really close to our gate. And then that's pretty much it. Um, I When I tell you that I really, really used every writing space in this, um, in this marvelous, wonderful, beautiful journal, um, I used every every space in here. I mean, I literally uh, filled it to the to the to the brim. <laughs> there it is. Okay, 
uh, let's see. Let me make this. I'm going to try to make this a little faster, guys, so that we I don't keep you guys. Now, in Rita's journal, I I just love these both of these books so much. Um, and I'm getting ready to move. I think into. I haven't decided yet as far as like um, writing and stuff. I, I have so many options. <laughs> I just have so many options. I will share this with you quickly. Look at this beautiful um, journal that was gifted to me by Tahira. And let me show you what she's done inside. Isn't that pretty? If I were, um, one of my favorite sea life animals is, a, you know, the seahorse, um, the male seahorse. Um, and if I were back in my younger days, which I'm not interested in going back, back, no, <laughs> I would have had gotten a tattoo a seahorse tattoo because I think they're the coolest things ever. And look at that. This bike reminds me so much of my life, my California lifestyle. So much. I just love it. Love, love, love it. And then of course, I avocado dye paper. My husband is a thousand percent Mexican, straight out of Mexico. <laughs> and we eat lots of avocados. Um, avocado is just one of my signature fruit pieces um it just is and I love that she put that in there so attentive and then here's a um a writing card a journaling card and she's got some little bits and pieces in there and beautiful beautiful love her style of including uh black and brown people um in uh her journals I am one of the rare ones <laughs> love it Love to hear his work. Love love all of my journals. They're, they're all just so unique. I've got um, some journals from Val at Pumpkin Patch Journals. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So significant. And I'm not sure. Love the book pages. Love how those are incorporated. Um, look at that. Oh, my God. That reminds me of my dreadlocks, guys. They were pretty long. They were probably about here. Right about there. Um, and I, you know, she's really beautiful, but this image reminds me of my dreadlocks. They were really beautiful. I don't miss them though. <laughs> I, let me just say, I don't miss them. They're, they're so beautiful and it's such an easy, um, look at that. Look at that. Such an easy way to, to, uh, hairstyle to have, hair type to have, uh, style, I should say. Look at the Statue of Liberty. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. She included all of my favorite things in here. More writing space. And look at the clips so that I can clip different pieces in. As you can see in Jessica's um, book, I used all of her pockets. I even journaled on her pockets. So I journaled on them. I stuffed um, things down. Jess's book um, is, and Rita's, is right when COVID broke out. So there's a lot... Um, that I documented in there in terms of um, kill them with kindness. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's the only way to do it sometimes. Einstein, she's quoted here. The only thing that you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. A man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ain't that the truth? So this little goodness, look at that. Coffee. Coffee. Guys, we can, none of us can live without our coffee or tea. <laughs> I just love her work so much. Look at this. She's got coffee beans and she's used some tickets. Beautiful, bold red. Lots of color. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it so much. Um, I just love everything that the Statue of Liberty stands for and what it means for our country. Um, it's, it's, you know. Um, I accept all of me. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And look at all the color and collaging she's done behind there. And then she's got some little goodies in there. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So I'm not sure when I'm going to, going to use this, but it, you know, it could be fairly soon. I've got so many options. Um, so many books to choose from. It's, it's just a blessing. It is a true blessing. Um, Lots of them have been gifted to me. Some of them I've won in giveaways and others um, I've purchased. And I love all 
all of those ways of uh, means of, of um, getting a journal um, just because, you know, it's it's good to support each other. Um, it's good when artists make things like giveaways. I have a giveaway coming up soon, by the way, while that's on my brain. Um, and, you know, to just if you win it, that's a happy day. So happy days. If you purchase it, you're supporting your fella uh, and fellow um, artists. Right. Um and so, and if one is just, if it just arrives in your mail by surprise and you didn't know it, huh, what a feeling that is. I mean, it's just a feeling when you have them all. So let me stop rambling because I'll keep going. Okay. Let me talk about this one. Okay. So when I journal in my books, I don't, there's some other ones I'll show you guys later if you're interested in seeing them. I don't really journal in chronological order all the time. I might start out that way as I did in here and then I might jump around. I left a lot of pages blank in here in between my journaling because I do plan to go back and add some pictures. Um, sorry, blowing one of my doggy hairs off my cell phone. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so I do plan to come back in, in this um, uh, book and sort of revisit it with images of perhaps um, moments that I'm uh, grateful for and that I'm talking about. On the side here, Rita has, I put a, a little clip on here, so I added this on here. There's a heart that came from one of my daughter's necklaces. My daughter liked um, those eye rings, you know, the rings with the, like the real eyeball eye, and she used to love to freak me out with that thing, with those things, and I'm just like, oh gosh, um, I don't like those. <laughs> I never have. Um, and so on this little charm from one of the pieces of jewelry that um, came from my daughter that belonged to her, there's a little red heart and then there's a little black heart there. And then I just clipped it on with the um, safety pin. And then Rita added this um, cross here. And this little charm there, if you can see that. Sorry, you'll have to, you guys will have to deal with the dry hands. Um, and then this is the relic that I got from Jessica Rapp. And I think there's a moment in the book, this book, that I say I'm grateful um, for this relic because it's just, I don't know, it's something about it that I just can't, I can't leave it alone. I'm, I just fell in love with this. Um, she sent it to me. Let me see if I can take it off. I'll put it back on later. I clipped it um, on here because... Um, I don't know. It's just so beautiful. And it's all the little things that she put on here. So she's got a bead, glass bead. She's got an old button. Those, those buttons that we all love. I put some of those in my, um, uh, slow stitch, uh, snippet roll kits. And she's got, there's some really old ones. I mean, I, they're just they're just so fantastic and so beautiful to look at. I'm working on some other ideas that I have for you guys. I think you guys will really like too coming up, but I got to get my Asian kit out first. Um, and those are going to be reasonably priced um, in terms of what's in them. So I could tell you they're going to be fifty dollars or less, um, including shipping. Um, so that might make you guys happy. Um, and to stay tuned for those coming up. Um, she's got one of those little Tim Holtz uh, paper clips that I love so much. I just love those little things. And then she's got a little heart there with the faux keyhole. And then look at this tiny little itty bitty little paper. <laughs> little safety pin like those ones I put in my snippet roll kits. I didn't have very many of those. I had to stretch those babies out. Um, and look at this. I love this. Carla Frizzell also does, um, I think, paper wrapping around um, paper clips like that. And look at the little key. And there's another little paper clip and a little flower charm. And then there's a longer old paper clip. I think this is when Jessica um, did rusted paper clips. She rusts them to make them look even older. Oh my gosh, I need to cut my nails. I can't stand when my nails are long like that. Ugh. Okay, and then this one, look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
I just love this charm so much. It's just so beautiful. And it's just fun to take it off and, and play around with it. And she's wrapped it with this old um, lace and fabric here. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? And there's some twine. And so this lives on the side of my gratitude journal because I'm very grateful. And then inside Rita's book, um, I'm just going to read you guys a few, um, just up to a certain point. I'll just read you some of the things that I'm grateful for. And I can uh, safely flip through this one. There are some, there's some secret um, journaling in here, but um yeah, it's 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 all good. The other element to my journaling style is that you know, I started off in here. I worked in both of these books at the same time. Um, but I was using this for gratitude and using this to sort of record daily all the things that were happening with COVID um because it had just broken out, but there's some other there's one other uh, wonderful event um, in my life that I also wanted to journal about that that has a lot to do with the secret journaling in here. And um, it's it's just it's so great. And I had to capture it. So this book encompasses like the COVID stuff and records and documents that my um, being in and out of the classroom, my hybrid teaching, all that stuff, how, what people were doing, how scared we were, what was happening in politics in terms of alleviating um, you know, the, the pandemic, um, the fact that it was called a pandemic eventually that's all in here with some other personal things. Okay. This one, Rita, this one is very personal and it's interesting that I, you guys, but when I, if I'm writing down something that I'm grateful for, sometimes I find that I'm grateful for it. The same thing. Like I cannot tell you how many times I mentioned broccoli in here or um, a conversation or a text with my niece or um, water, <laughs> those kinds of things. Anyway, so this is Rita's book and I'll just show you, um, let me just show you the side of it. It's so packed and so beautiful and I haven't really finished it. I left a lot of the pages blank because I do um, plan to, um, um, to uh, finish it out in terms of use up everything by including some pictures and things so I'll just read a couple of you know a few um, it starts off with this pretty little pocket I left that blank because I might put a picture there okay and then her signature ladybug <laughs> you can't think of I can't think about Rita Donnelly without thinking well I can't think about ladybugs without thinking about Rita Donnelly and so she's included lots of, of um, spaces. And in this journal, I used a lot of space as well, journaling uh, to write on. And I, okay, guys, sorry. I lost um, like at least um, five to six minutes of footage. So anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. So what I was saying is that um, Rita gifted this journal to me. I have to start all over to get my brain here, um, all the stuff I was telling you guys. So what I'm going to do is just go through and show you. I've shown this page. Um, go through and show you just how I do my journaling. I don't journal in chronological order. I started out that way. Um, it did not end up that way. Um, and I think I got in there to tell you in both of these books um, that this one started right when COVID hit. But I wrote in both of them. This one I mainly used for documenting uh, my teaching, my students, their health, um, our classes, you know, moving from uh, in class to hybrid, um, virtual, remote only, that kind of thing. So I wanted this book to document um, everything as it happened. But there's also um, a happy experience in my life personally that sort of secret journaling in there that that's pretty it's pretty awesome so there's that and then Rita's and I use these both at the same um, simultaneously at the same time so let me just show you um, I've written here today I am grateful for and I just kind of generically started out every page like that um, sometimes I wrote three items that I'm grateful for. Sometimes I wrote four. Sometimes I wrote a whole page. Sometimes I just wrote two. Uh, morning coffee, a treat, a Renee necessity, which is probably why 
Tahira put that coffee cup in there, <laughs> in that journal that I got from her. Um, hearing my mother laugh over the phone. I love her rasp. Um, for those of you who know, my mom, she, well, she's an ex-smoker. You guys hear what she sounds like because you see her on, on video um, whenever we're going, when we're out and about. And then these beautiful tags that I did not write on these. I left a lot of space in, in this book um, blank so that I can go back and um, add photos and pictures perhaps of, of uh, different uh, um different moments that I'm grateful for, different things that I'm grateful for. And one of the last ones says, meeting one of my Etsy customers, Georgie, our face-to-face -face with masks was a highlight to my day. We laughed, we chatted about life, our daughters, and crafting. And, um, you know, the, the, it was just so fun to meet her, and I just adore her. She said that this is us, and she said that we're going to be old ladies and we're still going to be crafting. <laughs> I love that so much and it's it's true <laughs> um I'll be curating junk journaling kits and she'll be crafting away right um and of course I'll be doing working in my journals as well um and then look at these tiny little itty bitty tags that she made and put in there that are movable you can take them in and out this is with the college rule paper and then this cute little blue one over here and then there's one that's a ledger from a ledger invoice and look at that tiny little envelope right there i just adore the little, the little label um and there's our state this is us <laughs> symbolic of us i just think it's so amazing and i actually enjoyed um um going and meeting a uh, georgie delivering her boxes and talking with her it was it was quite quite a, a unique and very different experience for me because you know I just I, I who who does that right who invites and then who does that you know um it was it was the best delivery uh meet that I've ever done or ever had um also let's see let me just read a few of these to you today I am grateful for and I, like I said I sometimes I did not start the pages out that way my homemade kale burgers and uh uh fried sweet potatoes um, the long nap I took while Hubs worked on the computer and loved on Smokey and Bishop. The quiet time to read a current novel I plan to teach again. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and you'll find that food is a recurring theme that I'm grateful for. So there are um, elements like water. <laughs> um, and sometimes in the book I found um, as I was going through it, um, I found that I would be grateful for a specific thing or something more than once. Broccoli, for example. Um, my husband and I cook in our home. Uh, most of you know my husband is like a thousand percent Mexican. Um, <laughs> he just is. Um, and I'm proud about that. Um, and so we we cook like at home. We We've never even, I think we got something the other day in the mail that was a an Uber Eats, which I'm surprised that, that, you know, that for our area, because our area is so rural like, but my sister, I get, a, I get my sister to save all that kind of packaging. My students sometimes will save, um, the home fresh or the Uber Eats or the, um, delivery dash, delivery dash. All you know, you guys do, do that all the time. My students do it all the time. We don't do that at all. <laughs> like ever. We cook. We're in the kitchen all the time cooking our own food. Um, and so um, when I collect trash from my sister, my mom, sometimes my students, um, my own, our own trash, um, it's just so cool to see whatever, you know, to see what packaging. Okay. So um, what else is I going to tell you? I did. Re I, I know I'm, I'm repeating this again because the video shut off and I'm not sure what got in. Um, I am going to link Rosemary Morris's new, her new series on uh, making trash onichi, as she calls them, journals, and the, the, the fun types of trash that she has as well. Um, and then uh, April at Pink Odd Bird, I'll link hers. And there's somebody else I'll try to remember, guys, if I'm being repetitive, it's because I'm trying to make sure I get all this in. Um, and I, like I said, the video kind of, because my husband called me and it chopped off and then I lost some footage. Okay, let's move on because I don't want this to be long. I don't want to keep you guys here all day. 
uh, let's see. Grateful for um, uh, talking in Spanish to my stepson about dot, dot, dot. And I won't include that. Uh, my husband has a son and he is about to be 28. Um, and I talk to him all the time in Spanish. We have lengthy conversations and I'm grateful that I, I speak Spanish and understand it. That uh, comes up quite a bit. Um, throughout the, the book as well. Doing yard work with my husband and a nice Sunday lunch homemade because we cook everything. We make everything. Um, we do eat out sometimes when, especially when things were before COVID, we would eat out maybe twice a month. Um, and that's not to say that I don't, you know, every now and then we'll do a jack-in-the-box run or we'll do... Um, Oh boy, it's one fish place that we like, but there's two. One is a fast food fish place and the other is a sit down in the restaurant. I think I say I'm grateful for the restaurant one in here somewhere. The smart, um, young, responsible grocery clerks who showed up during COVID and worked, I consider them um, first responders. I posted a picture on Instagram of this moment of some young students, young, not students, young girls, workers, I'm sure they're students, um, who were actually working um, and they didn't have to be. I mean, they could have, you know, been doing other things or just deciding to stay in and not coming out and working um, when COVID initially hit, hit us all. Um, so, and then Rita's got some beautiful stitching here. I hope you guys can see that okay with some cute little birds going down the side. I just love this book so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, here she's got, she stamped Faith, Hope, Hope and Love. I'm going to try and slow down a little bit, guys. I'm trying to go quickly here too because like I said I don't want to keep you here all day um, seeing my mother um, and talking about the lovely greenery in her flower bed uh, my mother lives in my grandmother's house um, the house uh, I grew up in there's a picture of me sitting on the front porch um, with a big fluffy poofy dress on um, blonde and squint sort of cringing and squinting at the sun um, it's a darling little picture, um, and I was maybe about two years old at the time, but my grandmother bought that house by herself, not with a husband. She bought and paid for it herself. Um, it's been paid for for like ever, um, and she left the house to me, my daughter, and my mother, and because it's just my mother and I, um, you know, my mom is, is living in the home, um, and it's been in our family for a long, long time. Um, my grandmother was a seamstress, by the way. Okay, and that's how she bought the home. Um, not in a really good time either. Um, you're talking about 19, the latter part of the 50s, early 60s. Um, that, that, was, that was an accomplishment, um, if, if ever. Okay, the YT comment, somebody commented on my YouTube channel, I received from a young Texas mom who said she would love to have me for, her, she would love for me to be her kid's teacher. That made my evening and into my morning. Thank you, Jan Simpson. <laughs> I even put her name in there. Um, again, to speak Spanish and be able to interpret to help non-English uh, speakers, obviously non-Spanish uh, English spe speakers. I only speak Spanish, a little bit of Latin and English. That's it. Um, let's see. The ladies, artists, friends who supported my last big journal kits, they rock and I could not keep going without them. Y'all know who you are. Thank you so much. A Shannon Green video. <laughs> I was grateful for that. Of course, you can never anything Shannon Green I'm grateful for. I'll just leave it right there. Upcoming giveaways. Um, again, I'm talking about postal clerks and grocery clerks. I'm grateful for my car, my Subaru. And then my mom calling me um, up about estate sales. And that's a recurring theme in here. I was grateful for that. I love when my mom calls me and we gossip and say, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she shows me all the pictures of what's there. And, and it's just a like a, a whole ritual that we go through just to, you know, kind of rev up for the estate sales. <laughs> or sale. Um, my Etsy shop and repeat customers. I'm grateful for handmade, homemade dinner by the hubs. My husband cooks. We both cook. Um, the two novels I plan to teach in the fall semester if I, if we're all not dead from COVID. I know that sounds a little negative, 
but I'm very honest. <laughs> and it looks like a lot of us are still alive, um, although I shouldn't laugh about that. And I don't laugh mockingly um, because so many people did die and have died. Uh, my mama's beautiful handwriting. Um, I won't. Can I show you this? Oh, this was an estate sale she wrote down. So she gets all the hunt and the collection and all of that. Um, well, I'm not going to undo it, but that's my mom's handwriting. She has very beautiful handwriting. And this is a picture of my great auntie's sewing machine that I took. We still have it. My husband um, uses it from time to time. I do not. <laughs> Oh, rolling in their graves. I'm telling you, I come from a family of seamstresses and they're all rolling in their graves. I did leave um, some uh, pieces blank because like I said, I plan to come back and post some um, pictures and things um, in here. Uh, Rita put this in here, my to-do list for today. Count my blessings, practice kindness, let go of what I cannot control. Be productive yet calm, just breathe. <laughs> I love that. And then over here, I said, I'm grateful for my beautiful, amazing art, talented friends who leave. Oh, wait, let me start over. This is about Sonia Milejevich, my beautiful, amazing art, talented friend who leaves some canvas for me across the blue sky. She promised she would. Sonia Milejevich, I miss her dearly. Um, and I, at some point, plan to... Um, take some of the, the dialogue um, between us and post it either here or in another place. Um, and if you don't know who Sonia Milejevich is, if her husband hasn't taken down, she has a website um, and she has um, a, a YouTube channel. Um, and we were really, really, really good friends. Um, and we sent each other things. I think she's probably my first ever pen pile or the person that I exchanged um, goodies with. Um, and, you know, she just, she was just amazing. She bought lots of my kits. Um, I bought her journals um, and just a beautiful, beautiful soul and a beautiful spirit. And we lost her, our junk journaling community lost her, I think now um, in June um, to uh, cancer. And I think about her all the time. And I have some of her books that um, I have shown shown in some videos. I'll, I'll show those again later. Um, grateful for my great grandmother and grandmother, my great auntie for teaching, uh, showing and stealing strength in me. They did well <laughs> and were some of the most original human beings I know. And then down here, Rita has put in a, uh, um, what do you call it? A, a verse for, uh, I'm so horrible with Bible guys and I grew up in church, but sometimes not horrible. I know the Bible well, but yeah, um, it says um, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And I just put down here that I'm grateful for memory and heritage, name and birth. Rita, a moment to say thank you. So I'm grateful for Rita and the moment just to be able to say thank you to her for this beautiful book. And let me move a little faster here, guys. My mother spending the day with her, grateful for my mother spending the day with her at an estate sale. <laughs> the laughs and chats, our mask, kiss. And my mother and I, this is July 2020, we're at an estate sale and we had to kiss via the mask because we, we I just love hugging my mom and kissing her every chance I get. It's been a while. Um, she does have her shots, so that's good, but I still wear my mask around her and am very careful um, around her. Um, the goodies I scored at the estate sale, I was grateful for that. Grateful for low gas prices this week. Um, grateful for my husband's decision to make dinner. <laughs> Again, I always love it when he cooks. Sometimes he's a better cook than I am. I'm grateful for my ability, again, to speak and understand Spanish, the people I help in our community, especially in the post office, because sometimes postal workers can be really sour pusses and mean to people that don't speak English um, perfectly, and they can be quite condescending. Um, and when I talk about postal clerks, I'm talking about all races of postal clerks are just mean people sometimes. Anyway, um, grateful for my nieces and nephews again. Um, so grateful for my profession and the ability to teach my students what sometimes what they may not learn at home. Um, the beautiful part about being a liberal arts professor um, and teaching literature, the novel, poetry, dramas and plays. Um, 
it teaches practicality in life. You know, literature is, is it just does that. Um, I actually got my high schoolers to sit through two black and white drama and play films and read the, the drama and plays. And you all are familiar with them. The Glass Menagerie and Death of a Salesman. And they absolutely loved it and dialogued about it, wrote papers about it. They had to argue um, about specific um, moments in the texts as well as the film. And it was really awesome. Social media, um, I'm grateful for, for once I put grocery clerks and fresh food. That's going to come up a lot in this book because I can't say thank you enough to the people who continue to be on the front line and serve us um, with when they didn't have to. Um, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm not a high maintenance woman. I live very, very frugally. Um, I live bare minimum. I live function even before COVID. And I'm very grateful that I have always lived that way by choice, um, because people had to really buckle down and hunker down and learn how to not go out to fancy restaurants and get everything they want when they want it. The, the theater, the movies, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm sure we're, we're getting back to it slowly, but surely. Um, today I am grateful for my sister, Leah is her name. So grateful for memory. Um, that's a big one for me. Um, let's see the thistle flowers that grow along the side of the highways in my community, other pretty weeds as well. Okay. Sorry about that guys. Um, okay. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, I know the thistle flowers, um, and the, the other pretty weeds too. The growth of my great auntie's gorgeous elephant ears. We gave some, some of the roots to my mom and they're growing so pretty. And I have pictures of, of that as well. Um, let's see. Grateful for turning the compost. I have a compost um, bed in the back. Grateful for the internet. Uh, my former students, a lot of my students will comment on my Instagram and I don't share any of my, any of my, uh, social media or YouTube or Instagram. If they find it, they find it on their own until after my students graduate. And a lot of my students that show up on my Instagram are mothers. Um, and they were my students years ago. They've graduated college. They're now moms and doing amazing things. Um, uh, let's see my besties, Trace, Tracy, Shauna, and Lori. Um, I'm in the process of getting some journals made for Lori. Um, and her her little family. Um, I can't wait to do that. I Shauna's uh, book I got from. Uh, como, oh, como see? I must, you see, I'm thinking my <laughs> in Spanish. I'm trying to remember. Luna Razu, a uh, Sheena. I think that's her name, Sheena. Um, I bought Shauna, my bestie, who is a published author and writer. Um, I bought her uh, a book. Um, a journal made by Sheena and then Tracy I'm still working on my bestie um, I've left um, lots of comments about her on my Instagram I'm working on a wine book for her she is a wine like hardcore wine drinker <laughs> like hardcore um, and, and in a good way guys in a good way uh, and then Lori of course I'm working on some books from for her uh, so grateful that I paid my bills and got my taxes done um, texted with my niece Cece and um yeah okay and then let's see what else oh and then here's some little pieces now back here i've got like a little um one of my students contacted me and asked me uh to give her um an artist's name she's on my instagram a lot as well she'll she'll pop in from time to time and she's young and she wanted to buy a book for her boyfriend um She's bisexual, but currently she has a really cute boyfriend who is a nurse, <laughs> which I think is so cool. She had contacted me back in July and asked me to to give her a list of artists that might um, she might contact to, to get a book made. I bought her a book um, that was made by, oh my gosh, who made her book? Oh Lord, I forgot. Um... I can't remember that I have a video of her opening it and she was so surprised and so happy. Um, she's a theater arts um, major. I can't remember who made her book for me. I have it somewhere. Anyway, a year later, she contacted me and said, 
you know, she's like, hey, professor. She's like, she calls me mama by my last name. She, she calls me mama and then my last name. Um, and so she contacted me. And so I gave her April at Pink Eyed Bird because they're young guys. These, these girls and her friends and my former students, they're all really, really young people. And so I thought what better way to give her a list. I gave her April at Pink Eyed Bird, Leanne at Creatively Free to Be Me, Cherie, Turquoise Streaming, Dawn, um, the book Vandal Shop. Um, and I put on there, not as familiar with her, but you know, and then of course, Marcia at then and there, I think Marcia made her journal, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> anyway, that was a list that I just kept. Um, and, and hopefully she got in contact with one of those ladies. And this, um, is a card that reminds me of my Basset Hound, Smokey. Um, today I'm grateful for the beauty of my mother's hands. My mother has very beautiful hands. Um, I have mentioned that with Kristen at, um, Rock Paper Treasures, uh, they just, her, her and my mom, even though they're very different in age, of course, but there's something about, um, there's a similarity that if, whenever I see Kristen's hands, I think of my mother for some reason, not in a motherly way, just because, you know, their hands are just so similar, the, the rings and their nails and all of that. Um, let's see, grateful for a lady named Mary, who sent me Braille paper upon hearing me rant about paper. I went to the post office one day and I was talking about paper and um, this was the post office in, in our downtown. It's the really old, old building. It's so cool. It's like a museum in there. And um, one of the ladies in there heard me uh, explaining, um, you know, um, the packages and, you know, what I, what I do and what our community does. And so she knew that I was in love with paper and um, she mailed me, got my address and mailed me some Braille paper. And I think I've shared it all. I might only have one piece left, but I think I shared it with some, some people. Uh, let's see, the George Floyd, grateful for the George Floyd mural painted at the corner store from my house at the very end of the, my, my street. There's a George Floyd uh, mural there. And I am grateful for that. Stuffed olives and garlic. Yummy. <laughs> I left this page blank. I'm not going through the whole book, guys. I'm almost done here. And this page blank because I may put some pictures there. And I didn't want to write uh, over all of the stamps that Rita put in here, but she put some really beautiful stamping um, in here. Grateful today for yard work, thrifting, chicken and ginger. The lady sitting at the grocery store entry, I gave her a mask and $3, neither of which she asked for. Uh, grateful for how death, happiness, and memories uh, can sometimes make me cry with all of those death, happiness, and memories. Um, here, Rita put, I love this. Look at the little bird negative. Can you guys see that? And then um, I got this. I ordered some, this is an Etsy shop. I ordered some masks from, I love their, their, their product. Um, so very grateful for my taste buds and life experiences <laughs> and for prepping several happy meals for some amazing people, crafters, artists, and work in my little flower bed garden. A hot but good day. Um, here, and I journaled on the back of that. This is packaging. Okay. Um, today I am grateful for the kink in my hair. It has its own personality. Lord Jesus, it does. And just when it's muggy, Texas mugginess. Oh my God. People who hand make masks. I'm grateful for them. Thank you all the people who did that. Um, and thank you, Dolores, for making my, my mother and me one. We love them. She still uses hers and I do too. The upcoming school year, fall 2020. Grateful for pennies and their susceptibility to become no more as far as the mint circulation goes. Grateful for mom's popcorn bags. This is where I get into collecting trash from family members and anybody who will save it for me. Um, and I was telling you guys earlier, Carla will, Frizzell will tell you that I might leave off of a topic, but I come back around to it. She's right. <laughs> I was telling you earlier about not shopping at Michael's and, um, and all those stores. But one time I was in there in Hobby Lobby with my mom and um, I actually approached um, the young clerk who was opening those cellophane bags and, and throwing them into a bigger plastic bag. I took all of them home. I still have a whole bunch of, of them over, over there and I recycle them. I'm grateful for the continuity of flowers um, and how they give a, a represent, 
the continuity flowers give and represent life. So that particular gratefulness comes from this book um, that I, I got for you guys. I probably won't ever read it, but it sounded very interesting. And I took this down last year and never mentioned it to you guys. It's called Grow a Garden, 10 Your Mind Psychiatric Susan. My, grow a Garden. I'm trying to go fast now. Grow a Garden. Oh my God. Grow a Garden, 10 Your Mind psychiatrist Susan Stewart Smith and sometimes I'll just jot these down if I hear some interview um, and I thought you guys might like that basically what she was talking about is how flowers um, are a continuity of life and um, how they sort of sustain um, life and contribute to our overall success as human beings and that kind of thing and how growing a garden and tending a garden I believe she argues in there um, she talked about in the interview um, is sort of therapy, something like that. And I would say that that's true because I grew up with a, my great auntie, my great grandmother, my grandmother, sometimes my uh, uh, great grandmother and grandmother for sure, great auntie and great grandmother for sure. Uh, grew a lot of beautiful, beautiful flowers. Um, and, um, you know, it, I just grew up with all kinds of beautiful flowers. Um, let's inside and out house plants and, uh, um, flowers outside. And I, in fact, I've collected a lot of different, um, pieces that will go in, into my journals. Okay. I got to stop talking. Okay. Let's see here. I, I don't know how to, let me go a little faster. I'm almost there to the point where I'm going to just flip through it. Um, Grateful for the life gives, life gives the pleasure of choice and ability to choose. Uh, the beautiful horses and blue jays I see out my front window. Um, I'm grateful for lack of self-pity. Uh, grateful that my neighbors don't bother me. I'm not very friendly. <laughs> this was written before the, the, uh, other neighbors moved in, but so far everything is okay. Ugh. Gosh. Anyway, grateful for summer heat, Texas summer heat, no doubt. Uh, grateful for our teeny tiny little house and big outside space. I love seeing Bishop and Smokey run around, especially Bishop because he is so active and needs lots of exercise. Grateful for the most beautiful conversation with my mother, with my mama. Topic uh, reference, we talked about Thomas and Betty. So we were kind of talking about some um, um, family friends. Um, and it was just a really beautiful conversation. Um, my husband's sweaty kiss before leaving to go to work. Um, I am grateful for his talent. Grateful for Sophia, Marcia, and April for all my beautiful TNs. <laughs> Okay, and then um, this is a card Rita put in there that I journaled on. Um, I'm grateful today for the ability to forgive and learn from others' mistakes as well as my own. Um, and then I say something political in there. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this this old phone. My It's so funny. The house my mom, my grandmother's house my mom lives in. My grandmother had a yellow one. My mom probably still has that phone. It's the phone that hung on the side of the wall. And I remember we used to use letters for the first um, part of the telephone numbers. Y'all remember that? That's how old I am. <laughs> okay, let me hurry. Grateful for Bob Marley, Prince, Axel Rose, Billy Holiday, Abby Lincoln, Juan Gabriel, Rocio Lurk. Durkal, Roberta, Roberta Flack, Billie Eilish, um, Resortes, uh, Thelonious Monk, and Carmen McRae. So many, many, many more. That's I just was in the mood to write down musicians that I am obsessed with. Um, an ability to enjoy moments in a day that sometimes shouldn't happen, shouldn't happen in terms of standard commitments, obligations, and promises. It feels so good to just do, just do with time that can never be relived ever again. And um, if most of you know, I had one daughter my entire life. I had her when I was very young. All of the women in my family did. We started very early. And I never really had as a very young mother time by myself. I mean, my life was totally and wholly completely consumed um, by my child, by my baby. Um, and I enjoyed, I loved being a mother. Um, I lost her um, almost... 25 years ago she would I would be a grandmother for sure by now she would be um, in her uh, late 30s and 
so when I raised her, I never had time as a young person alone because I was a mother. And so it sounds weird to hear me say, and you guys have heard me say it before, those of you who have stuck around with me for a long time, that I love, I will do anything for solitude. I just, I never had it as a young person. And when I lost my baby, I had to sort of teach myself how to enjoy solitude. I had to teach myself what it was um, to be able to have or have fixed dinner by myself or um, go and sit somewhere um, alone or, um, you know, just sort of living in a living space alone. I had to, to learn how to do all of that. Um, and it was so um life altering um when i was when i first experienced that it was the most strangest and most hurtful um experience that i've ever had to to go through but i learned and now and especially guys cuz i'm older too oh my god solitude is like the best it it it's just i have to have it i mean I, you know, I even, I spend time with my nieces and nephews, but it's only for a little while because I love children, always have adored children, even other adults. It, I can spend time for a little bit, but day to day to day to day, even my brother-in-law, when, when my husband and I, brother-in-laws, when my husband and I first met, I had to get accustomed to my brother-in-laws just popping up over here all of a sudden. I'm like, no, 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 I can't have that. I'm not that kind of person. Anyway, we're all over it now. So I love solitude. Um, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. Um, I think best when I am um, in solitude. And even sometimes my husband uh, disrupts it and um, and I don't, I, I don't like it. I, if, if I want to be by myself and I want to be left alone, I want to have a day to myself. Um, he knows. Um, and so, yeah, he either needs to go do something in his workshop or go hang out with his brothers or take the dogs to the park or whatever it is, because I just, I need it. Um, and, and that's just the way I am. So anyway, the days, uh, my best friends and I used to drink wine and flip through magazine the days my best friend Tracy she's on my Instagram and I used to drink wine and flip through magazines just to pass time we had such little worries then <laughs> that was after my daughter had passed away um let's see grateful for bees and we spent time before my daughter passed away with because her god my godson her son is much younger than my daughter would be um, he fights for us in the United States Air Force, and he's amazing. Okay, bees. Well, grateful for bees, water, and solitude, and ability to see that this nation's bull. Okay, let me stop. Let me start over. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let me see. I better cover this up. So, so grateful for bees, water, and solitude. And here I'm being rather political. I don't want to offend anybody. I'm grateful for the understanding that positive thinking is healthy, but so is mental prep for life's realities um, and the hard times, the difficult times that are bound to occur in everyone's lives. Grateful for the realists grateful that realists have values and exist. I'm not sure what I meant by that. I think I was you know, just sort of talking about being a realistic person, not living in a fantasy world. Okay. That's very dangerous to teach little kids. Okay. Um, and I mean, what I mean by that, and I'm not talking about Disney and all that. I'm just talking about the hardcore life's experiences. Um, I think that Anyway, I better stop right there. We, we could talk about that another time. Okay, so grateful for my voice. Grateful for the pecan tree in my mama's front yard. Um, it's the tree that I put, I grew up with, but the tree was already there when I was when I was a, a, a young child, a baby. Um, the morning sun that shines through my front room windows. Uh, John Lewis and his rebel ways, good trouble. My sister Leah, a nurse, caring uh, frontliner. I keep her in my thoughts, especially during these crazy COVID-19 times. The laughter my great auntie constantly sparked throughout the years. I wish I could share some of the things that my great auntie used to say. You guys would be on the floor. And I know that a lot of you have family members like that. <laughs> so it wouldn't be anything new. Um, she was just an amazing um, woman and so funny. 
um just the things that she would say uh this says so grateful to reconnect with those i hadn't seen in a while hoping another hoping another hoping for another oh okay anyway let me just move on beautiful day little wind blowing but hot we've been dying to take the dogs to the park bishop will have a blast as he has never been so grateful to to have gotten a lot of etsy work completed so much more to do but enjoying um every moment um and you'll notice that my gratefulness is sort of getting into more prose now um as opposed to bullet it out um because my journaling style is there's no it's just what i feel it, there's there's no rhyme or reason or organization or any special way to do it i just do what i want to do i think that's the best way um let's see grateful for an inability to still hit high soprano notes um hmm i don't know that my students whom i sing to all the time virtually from time to time to wake them up i don't know that they would I don't know that they would see that as a positive thing. Anyway, um, so I go on and talk about grateful for my neighbor's kids. Um, I've watched them grow up. They're just wonderful children. Mustard greens, call, uh, uh, mustard greens, garlic, onion, and turmeric. A cool glass of wine, Chardonnay preferably from time to time, and a nutty warm glass of Cabernet saving y'all from time to time love wine i think wine is just so relaxing very good and good for you in moderation um let's see so grateful today for our past family gatherings oh and this i'm not going to read the whole thing this is just talking about how grateful i am the memories i have of my mother's side um growing up around my great grandmother and my grandmothers i was very lucky and very fortunate my great great grandmother um, as well, maybe I should insert a picture of, of her here. Yeah, she, um, she's that, the LaRue side, the Indian and LaRue side, um, of my family. That's my mother's great grandmother, my great, great grandmother, my daughter's great, great grandmother, great three greats. We had six generations guys at one time. So, and I'm not going to show what's behind here. Uh, Carla Frizzell made, um, I, I think I bought one of her, um, baby books and I gifted it to one of my students, um, who just loves it. Um, barely 19 and a, and a mom, and she's doing such an excellent job. That girl was meant to be a mother. Some people just are. Um, and a young one at that. Um, free page here. Free pages. I'll put some images there. I have pictures of the baby shower. I made a whole video of you of, for you guys of that, but I never posted it because I was like, meh, I'll have to leave some, some things private. Um, I didn't journal on the back of this because there's um, that. And then I've got some stamps I cut out from something. This is one of my digitals, by the way. They're 50% off. And so I just printed it off and I journaled on the inside. I said, uh, grateful, so consumed with beginning classes these days. I am so thrilled about teaching in a chaotic time. I'm still so thankful to get to do what I love to do. Also looking forward to tomorrow, uh, more morning backyard cleaning a bit and the rest of the day. Very thankful week, weekend coming, I know. Um, on this side, I journaled, um, and again, I've moved from bullet to um, prose. Um, grateful today for parks and smiles, longings, adventure. Okay, I'm not going to read that because <laughs> I'm just going to put that back in here. That's part of the secret journaling. Okay, it's not, it's not that secret, guys. I even journal on the back of this beautiful card that Rita put in here from Corinthians 5-7. For we live by faith, not by sight. She put that one in there. Um, I'm talking about my daughter um, and how grateful I am for the experiences. And she's still my greatest blessing. And Bonnie, I saw your comment, if you watch this, where you said um, you didn't know that I had a daughter or lost a daughter. And that um, it's good that I enjoy talking about her. I love talking about my baby. I love it. My students, guys, they probably just like, oh God, again, because I, you know, my daughter was very studious, very, very studious. Um, look at this. This is a card that comes from the brown pair. Let me hold up her 
info there so you guys it's such a sweet note um and i sometimes i'll go and buy some of her jokers um when mine become really low which they do and then there's a really cute piece that rita has put lace on and i journaled on this that's one part that's one of my digitals there and i pretty much said so grateful for mariscos mariscos is um mexican the way to say mexican seafood and my husband and i have a very favorite restaurant that we go to um from time to time on special you know just when we want to have a glass of wine or a drink together and, and eat out um which is extremely rare but we do from time to time and that's one of my favorite places to go um Grateful for the news, grateful for my cousin in Washington. My cousin in Washington is um, the one that um, I just got those beautiful books. Oh my God, from Tahira. Um, and they got them and they are in love with them. Um, I have to tell you guys later, they're, they're just so in love. And the younger, the younger cousin, um, the one that's interested in our family heritage, she is just over the hills. Oh my God. She sent me, if I could show you guys the little emoji jump thing, heart thingies that she sent me is the ones that I guess they're gifts. I'm so, yeah, I'm kind of out of touch with that stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, grateful for my cuñados, Mario and Alejandro, Ale for Alejandro, Free, flea markets, water, water comes up in here a lot, fans, because it gets hot and Texas heat sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, but I'm grateful for it. And then I think I'm going to cut it here, guys. Um, grateful for drag and drop. Uh, grateful for my mom's house, her flower bed full of Annie and Mother Dears. Those are my great aunt and my great grandma, those florals, because they gave her flowers and they're still growing in my mom's yard. All the pretty greenery, the floor, the four o'clock's purple heart. Oh, and the dark lilies, her elephant ear from my aunt's house, my great auntie's house, my mom's aunt, my great aunt, Annie. Um, growing beautifully. And for my tax man, Mr. Fairchild, if you want to talk about an, an older gentleman I've known since, oh, I don't know, 2024, tw I'm sorry, 20, oh, 2004, he is one of the best human beings that I've ever, ever, ever met. I, he's just an amazing man. He's got these gorgeous turquoise blue eyes and he's so happy and he's smart. He's a retired um, certified public accountant and his wife and he are just they they they've been lovebirds forever and he's probably in his 80s now and I call them and talk to them from time to time. I just love him so much. I, I love him so much. Anyway, my tax man. So I journaled here. I won't read everything. Grateful for my dogs that they can open and close the front and back doors on their own. Max, my uh, first baby, fur baby could do that as well. Solitude. Um, the view from my front window again and seeing the children and um, horses across the street. Um, I'm grateful for an ability uh, and privilege to have something to look forward to um, the next day. Um, food, especially broccoli, fish, and rice. Grateful for America sometimes. <laughs> yes, I'm grateful for America sometimes. Not all the time. We got to get it together, people. Um, let's see, grateful for my cell phone and the cheap rates I have, um, Jessica Rap Relic, that's the pin that I showed you guys here, I'm so grateful for that, uh, uh, and the few, uh, oh, on a few pages after this, so I'm telling you that I pinned it on here, feeling grateful to have it will always, well, I will always cherish it, grateful for this journal and ladybug Rita. I said that already, but I, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm grateful for at the day. I'm, I'm not lying. A cool glass of Chardonnay, my cool laptop, and I'm always grateful to have a cool glass of Chardonnay or Cabernet um, because it's, it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, if I make a really nice dinner or my husband makes a really nice dinner, you know, on a Wednesday or a Thursday, just to have a one glass of wine with that dinner is just so, it's something to be grateful for, for me personally anyway. Um, grateful for potatoes and broccoli, potatoes and broccoli. Um, an ability to be vulnerable um, and throwing myself out there into the world. Um, 
the freedom to be a person who feels like everything in their lives must be perfect. Oh, yeah. And this I, I'm talking about, I'm grateful to that. It's such a beautiful freedom to not be a person who feels like everything in their lives must be perfect and controlled. Um, how stressful that must be. Um, and life altering when shit goes awry. Yikes. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I, I'm in control for what I can control and that I can't I it's it's not in my control. And then here are some things prepping for classes, olives, stuff with garlic. I've said that twice. You can tell that I really love those. I enjoy them. I love olives. Um, my mom talking with her. Um, one of my students um, on the ninth tested positive for COVID. Um, and I was really worried about that. Um, very worried because that's when I was actually on the campus. Um, so yeah, um, the best way to be honestly, know a nowhere friend or understand, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then to just, um, grateful for the names of my family members. Um, uh, Ether, Leveda, Toy, uh, Evie, Rhoda, Emmett, James, Jennifer, Helen, Arthur, Billy, Jesse, Sierra, Faith, LaRue, Polk, Larry, Sharon, Joe, Tut, Teresa, Raylan, Gary, Bo, Eric, uh, Sean, Preston, Leah, Jessica, Ronan, Leroy, Abraham, Ruby, Shauna, Tracy, Lori, Chris, Alex, Mario, Roje, Chivis, Esther, and Arturo. <laughs> There's more, but you know, anyway. And then it goes on, and I wrote this way as well. So I don't follow the rules because that, you know, takes away the fun of it. Um, grateful for my husband's laugh, fish, potato salad, fish, potato salad, and celery for no reason. I didn't put those together. It's just that's the food I'm grateful for at that moment. Thrift stores and resale shops, of course. Um an intermittent love for Etsy. Sometimes I love Etsy. Sometimes I do, do not. I doesn't. I do not. Um, grateful for my students who brought their pets to virtual class. Liz brought her chicken. It was a big chicken, guys. And she put them in the camera. Mia brought her fish. Mia's fish is so cute. Sydney brought her dogs and her fat cat. Guys, that cat was so huge. Oh, my God. So huge. Lord have mercy. Um, and don't ask me why they were we were in a virtual class and they were able to, uh, you know, bring in their animals. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> um, August 17, 2020. Again, grateful for Rita, this beautiful journal, her talent, period. Art, music, missing my father's these days, my two dads, um, and the birds that have hung out in front, in my front window, different types, also beautiful, especially our house sparrows. And I think that that's where I'm going to stop, guys. I talk about, um, conversations with my brother-in-law um 919 I'm grateful for Shannon and Rosemary's live sale on 919 I think they had a live sale together I voted um I journaled on the back of there um grateful for my boss I love I have the best boss in the world he asked me for my rubric because he said that I'm more trendier than he is <laughs> and my class sounded more livelier than his <laughs> Uh, I'm constantly reinventing myself for teaching. I'm grateful Kamala Harris is who she is. She wins the office. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, giving Mr. Old Man cans. He just drove by. There's an old man that I give a lot of aluminum and metal and he goes and sells it. Um, he's uh, looks like he might have had a stroke on one side. And he, he literally works every day um, by picking up different metals and things that he can um, in turn turn around and sell. Um, for, for, for cash and money. Um, so grateful, very grateful, ever grateful for two beautiful, generous human beings, Sophia and Tahira. Um, their happy mail sent, sent to me was so refreshing, um, from all the chaos, um, and the gifts drew me back to the fun and love of curating JJ kits. Never mind the hunt to res rescue old paper. Sophia sent me beautiful books, one old antique ledger and charming, um, Charming, wicked, charming, fun spell book. 
Um, and Sophia, I uh, sent that book off to um, a lovely artist named Meredith. Um, she loves that kind of stuff. And so, I, and she has a baby. So I thought that might be really cool for her to um, go through the book, the spell, uh, the spell, a spell bound bound book with her her baby Whew, that's a lot to say and then to hear her rocked my world with the beautiful gorgeous journal she made the entire piece is so stunning she even include beautiful black and brown people thank you to Hira for that i think it's so refreshing <laughs> my mother um gave me for my birthday and it says daughter i knew you would need strength and determination to get you through life's hard times joy and confidence to propel you through your triumphs and a loving heart to share with those who inspired you but seeing those qualities reveal fully in the beautiful beautiful phenomenal woman that you are today is more rewarding than I could ever imagine. My mom, she's so sweet. I love her so much. She's She rocks, guys. She's the best ever. I've journaled on the back of there. This is a popcorn bag my mom uh, bought for my birthday. And I'm going to put a picture on the back of there. She bought me some hot and um, a plant journal on the back of there. So it just goes on and on. And then I've got um, some stamps and I love Gwen Eiffel. She was an amazing journalist. Um, and this is a tiny little picture here of, let me show you guys these. These are just of stamps. And then I've got, what else do I have back here? Oh, and I've journal inside of there too. Oh, I'm journaling in there how grateful I am for Val at Pumpkin Patch. She, I mentioned her in here several times too. Um, Sweet Pea, I think I got that from Kristen, I believe. Um, so yeah, and then I left more pages. Oh, and one of my favorite quotes that I just found out this quote, I'm surprised. I think because a lot of people are writing about grief and, and sharing their experiences, um, with grief. And, um, this is a wonderful quote by, I think it's Rashi Halifax. And it says, grief is love that has nowhere to go. And when you think about that, I, I think that no one could say that any better than that. It's just impossible. Oh my God, guys. Okay. I got to stop now. Okay. So yeah, Rita, thank you for this. I still have some more journaling to do in it, but I wanted to go ahead and look at the bicycle she put in there. <laughs> she and Tahira, I'm telling you, they are just always on it, man. All of you are journaling here. Um, because I don't journal in order. Oh, and I've got some amazing. Oh, look at this too, what Rita did. Isn't that beautiful? It says journal and she's got a pressed flower in there. And I have to share some of this with you guys. I love, um, y'all know that I'm, oh Lord, obsessed with a lot of you actually. Um, but some of the things that you guys say I write down. This is Rachel. On 1121, Rachel at Roxy Creation, she says, isn't that annoying when you have to start up a new thread for one stitch? <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, some of the stuff she says just cracks me up. And then when she calls herself a ding dong and, and talking, it's just really funny. I think I've used that term because, you know, I've got it, got it from her, but I also like uh, Edith a bunk or two. Um, this is another Rachel, uh, saying this was on 12 2 21 it says no not that color though just a minute where's the other ones where are you we let's see where oh she says where are you where have the other ones gone does anybody else talk to their supplies because you know i talk to my supplies all the time it's like they're gonna answer one they're gonna answer me back i just think that that's so funny that was a and then let's see, I have some, I know I've got some Nick the Booksmith in here and oh my God, Tiff at Southern Gales. This is a Donna Morgan quote, um, 1226. When you read piano paper, you read from the bottom up. So I guess she was telling herself that. I don't know. Yeah, I just wrote that down. And these are those little old cards. I think I put that in there. Um, Let's see. I've got more in here. There's some more in here. I know there is. They're just so fun. I wrote down one. Hold on. Let me get grab a couple of the other ones. And then I want to show you Rita, Rita's beautiful picture. And then I got to say goodbye because this video is so long. Okay. These are some more that I wrote down, Rachel. This was um, 
re fairly recently, March um, 27, 21, she says, whether I'm sewing or gluing paper, I like to have options and I like to have more than what I need. I love that. I love that. And then another time she said, we, not, we may not need to make anything because we have it all already, right? <laughs> right? Okay, and then I got a couple more. Uh, let me show you this one here I put in this book. I forgot to show you guys this because this book is so secret. Here it is. This is a quote by Jessica Rapp herself. Um, she was making, this is before she did her last room tour, I think, but she was making like, like she does, like mass make stuff. And so she said, Jessica Rapp said this, she says, I need a big L-shaped desk, L-shaped office desk and a secretary and stuff like that. <laughs> she needs a secretary? <laughs> she probably does. I think she does need, but I love, she says, I love that she says, um, I need, I need an L-shaped office desk and a secretary and stuff like that. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God, some of these things just crack me up, man. I'm telling you. Um, this is another one by, uh, let me see. I'm trying to go through this fast, guys. I'm so sorry, but this is definitely one of those long video. This is Gina at the Rebookery. Gina says, this is part, let's see. She says, this is part of this journal's journey. It's the prepping of the pages is what she says. And I love that. I think that is so profound. Um, I jot them down so quickly. I, you know, sometimes I, I try to get it exactly as they say it, but here's another one. This one is Tiff at Southern Gals. Tiff says, I'm a texture hoe. <laughs> oh my God. She says, I'm a texture hoe. Welcome to my channel where I make things. I, I make up words and then you leave me comments and tell me who, what should I, what I just said. So basically what she's saying is, let me try to read that again. I have to write them down so fast. It says, welcome to my channel where I make words up and then you leave me comments and tell me what I should have said. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. She's the only person, young person that I've ever met in my life who uses the word pitlin. Um, I've only ever heard my grandmother use that word. My great grandmother used that word. Um, this one is Shannon Green. Shannon Green says, this one, you know, stick that on there and call it done. I'd be happy. <laughs> that just looks so good. <laughs> you can hear Shannon saying this. Sometimes just really simple, minimalistic really works. And then other times I'm not happy until I have covered every square inch of the page in multiple unnecessary layers. And that's okay too. <laughs> multiple unnecessary layers. <laughs> oh God. Uh, let's see who is this one from. That was Shannon. I didn't write the date down on that. This one is another Rachel at Roxy Creation. Um, and it says, Oh, to a lefty threading a needle. <clears throat> That's what I, I think I might have. I don't know if I titled that or she said that. But anyway, I have it in quotes here. It says, That's not threading. So there's only two. <laughs> there's only two strands for heaven's sakes. So what do we. So let me try it again. That's not threading, so there's only two strands for heaven's sakes. So what we do is we put this, we put this ding dong. Sometimes we put this ding dong sometimes. Oh, I'm doing a horrible reading of this. And then she says, so we put this in here. Was this the needle I was using before? This is my right hand and, in such, and I'm such a lefty. My right hand refuses... I got to read this. She's arguing over her right and left hand. And she says, my right hand refuses. I just need to train it. <laughs> she needs to train her right hand because she's, y'all know she's a lefty. It just doesn't want to do anything. It just sits there. It sits there while the left hand does everything. <laughs> oh my God. I love that so much. Oh, I love it. And then this one. This is another Rachel. It says, it's a bit hot to stay in here without the fan on. So if it's making a big noise, I apologize. And I might blow away at any time now. <laughs> blow away at the same time. Oh, God. I've got, I've got several of hers in here. I should have did a whole video just on this. 
Um, Tiff says, it looks like a summer fiesta right now on the index card. Love it. And then Rachel says, so I'm out of my box and down the road I am. And I got to find a piece of paper. What I can't find are my plain papers. Oh, here's one. It was on the floor. <laughs> It's great when you find stuff on the floor that you're using in your artwork. And this is Rosemary. Rosemary has said a few, and I sometimes I can jot them down quickly, and sometimes, guys, I'm just not in a position to. Rosemary says, whoops, always dropping things. It's okay, it's okay Rosemary. It's your stuff. <laughs> I love that. Um, last couple of ones. Rosemary Morris, um, clean up your mess, Rosemary. Don't set up a catastrophe to happen. You know it will if you let it, so don't let it. You're in control. You're in control. Take control. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. These are awesome. I just love these. I've got, I've got some Nick the Booksmith ones somewhere, too, and just more of these. I just think they're so fun. So before I go, I'm going to fold those up and put those back in um, Jess, Jess's journal where I had them. I'll just probably add them all in there. New ones I'll add in, in back into the back of this book. Um, and here is where I hosted them. Um, and so lastly, this is, I'm so glad uh, Rita puts her picture in, in the back of her journals. I think she is the most loveliest. And I, re I redacted that. I redacted that out. So, yeah, because, you know, anyway, there she is. And there's her note to me. This journal was made for me. Are you ready for this, guys? She made this journal for me. Boop. 2018. There it is. And that's got her signature. And there her beautiful face is there. All right, guys, I have kept you guys long enough. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Jess, for these beautiful books. And thank you, all the ladies who, I don't know, y'all, sometimes you just crack me up. I can't help it. And I know it's not only me. I know other other ladies, other viewers, they, they laugh along. I mean, who says Jessica talking about she needs a secretary and stuff like that? The question is, what do you mean and stuff like that? <laughs> like oh my god anyway guys i'm gonna say goodbye and um you guys have um been so patient there's a um there is a giveaway coming up pretty soon so stay tuned for that and i think next i've been waiting to do this video and it, it's it's really long and i'm sorry about that you don't have to watch the whole thing of course um, but anyway, it's just fun to talk about um, what's in my journals and, and what I'm doing in mine. And I'm as transparent as I possibly can be. Um, <clears throat> I have other journals that I have that they're full. I have one from Dolores Salazar that she gave me years and years and years and years ago. And it, and it has mostly um, journaling and um, images in it as, as well. So maybe... <clears throat> excuse me one day i'll show that share that with you guys as well i'm going to put this beautiful flower back here with rita because she is a beautiful flower she's a ladybug and there's my jessica wrap relic is what i like to call that i think it's so pretty it's just fun it's just fun to look at and jingle around and play with um okay i'm gonna go guys i'm well way, way over the time that i should have been here so sorry about that um i will be back with more goodies um a giveaway i've got the asian kits i started cutting up the fabric let me show you guys <clears throat> oh the fabric is being cut i haven't finished it all yet but there it is and i've got folds and folds and folds and folds and folds of fabric um, there's more down there, um, several pieces down there. So I think I'm going to have about, um, about 12 or I don't know about 12. I'm not going to do like, um, as many kits as I've done in the past or, you know, as many as I would normally do. I think I'm going to limit these to like no more than 15 is probably, and they will be a lot cheaper, uh, in terms of, I don't like to say that word cheaper, but more economical I should say and by the way I I told you guys I want, didn't want to say it on camera you know say it on video but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm going to put some packs together um and I'm going to call them what did I call it say it is hold on guys let me see here I've wrote it down somewhere in, in my well it's not really a big mess over here it's just papers and stuff 
oh, this is what I'm going to call them. Something like um, GT Designs Economy, Economy Craft Packs. Something like that. So I'm just sort of working out ideas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the packs um, all the goodies. Like um, the, it's going to be different than my regular junk journaling kits, which are massive. These are going to be very, very um, economical and, 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 um, Oh Lord, they're going to be, they're going to be scaled down a little bit, but they're going to be just as fascinating as uh, my larger junk journaling kits. And that's what I'm going to call them is economy packs. GT designs, economy craft packs is what I'm going to call them. Okay. So y'all can look forward to those and those will probably come right after the, um, Asian packs, the Asian, um, packs coming up. I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to call those kits because, um, there's not going to be a book in there for you to make it. You're going to have to make your own book, your own journal um, cover and stuff. So we'll see. I'm getting them together. Look at this beautiful. You guys didn't see this. This is new. I just got this not that long ago. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. It's got this really pretty teal um, that changes and, and gold. It's just it's just so beautiful. Um, and so I'm going to cut that up and give you guys some of that. It's, you, you can't even see how pretty it is. Um, it's almost like a goldy, kind of a yellowy um, when it shimmers. You know, I don't know how else to explain it. So I picked that up. I got that the other day. And I'll show you a sneak peek of, I just love my books. Jessica, I filled your book up fast because I had a lot to say when that when I was writing in that one. <clears throat> and Rita's Rita put so many pages in hers, which is just great because you know I'm I've been living in that journal for over two like twenty well yeah like a, over a year. Um. Anyway, look at this book, guys. I found this, and I'm not sure if I'm going to to sell it um, like this whole, or if I'm going to part it out because it basically um, what it is, is a book of it's from the 1900s. It's 1909, um, 1909. Hold on. Let me find that for you guys. Sorry. I know the video is so long, but I just have a lot to say. There it is there. So you can see here what date it is. 1909 and it's got these beautiful plates of kids in them um and i don't know if i'm going to separate the plates out they're all here um so every tissue that you you know this not tissue you know what you call this oh my god i can't get it together i'm trying to rush but it's got these original plates in them each each um it's i don't know how many are in here and then it's got some old vintage illustrations um, and that kind of thing. And it gives you the artist and who, you know, who the artist is or was. Um, there's some, um, something by uh, Valesquez, Valesquez, Baltazar. That's who that is, Carlos. And... It just goes on and on and on. And these can easily be taken out of here. And I think this paper right here would be cool to collage with. So what do you guys think? Keep it together or part it out? Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Isn't she cute? Oh, that's a boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a little boy. He's cute. And then there's more. So it's just a ton of them in here. There's so many. Um, and these pages are very cottony. You know, they're very cottony pages. <clears throat> anyway, so I found this. I got this. Um, that's a girl for sure. I see earrings. Yes, a young princess is what it says. This is Dutch art. And look at them. Aren't they cute? Oops. Can you guys see that? Aren't they adorable? 
So yeah, I don't know. And this book is in, it's in like great condition, but it is sort of begging to be parted out. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, should I part it out and, um, whoops. Now see that one was stuck. Oh, but the paper and the paper isn't harmed or anything. So that's good. Um, or should I sell the book as, as a whole? Um, this one I definitely want to sell. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to, to get, you know, somewhat of a, a decent penny for it. I paid a good penny for it, but yeah, there's just tons of these, these images in here and they're just all really cute. And I think, um, as old as this book is, it's 1909, you might even be able to uh, scan these. I would imagine you could, you could scan them. Um, but I think they're just quite lovely, the pictures are. And then the book pages are, are really nice too and that they're you know that cottony feel and these I love these you can see the difference in tones um, in those so yeah anyway there was that 1909 and then I found I got this from my university um, you, a lot of times the a lot of the old books that I have <clears throat> I get them from the university um, where I teach because they purge um, and they have like just a little cove that they store the books and you just take what you want and you know go along your merry way um and if there's books that i didn't want i could take them actually and put them there too but unfortunately well fortunately <laughs> i'm in the junk journaling business okay supply business so i i need all my old books this one's an old poetical uh work of shakespeare and it's got um it's just got a lot of plates in it as well measure for measure and these pages just scream collage with me they just scream collage with me but it's got pay, uh, plates all throughout as well excuse me um pages yeah it's got pages throughout all there's henry um the sixth and this is a page ripped out so yeah so I found these. Um, this one I purchased and this one I got um, from my university. And I'm really happy I did. I usually go and check um, every now and then. I haven't been on campus um, in a while. So because I'm teaching remotely, remote only. So that's one of the reasons why that is. Okay, I better say goodbye, guys. I've been on here. Oh, my God. Okay, bye. Um, I will see you guys back here with... Um, um, the giveaway and Asian kits. I think that's what's next. I am still in the midst of teaching. So, you know, I don't have the kind of time where I'm just at home, uh, curating junk journaling kits all day, every day. I, I wish I, well, I don't wish I could do that because I don't know. It's just, I don't want to do that every day. But, um, what I'm saying is that if you don't see me for a hot minute, it's because I am actually working and school will be out for me in about, uh three three and a half weeks or something like that so we'll we'll be done and then i can play around with you guys and curate some things a little bit faster but with care quality care <laughs> do i sound like a pitch woman or what was that a pitch do you guys ever watch um people when they make their videos and they sound like commercials or they, they you know they're really really like selling the idea and it's it's so funny, but I, it works, you know, I suppose it works, but it's so funny to hear when people are, you know, when they're talking about things, they sound like a commercial. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, okay, bye, guys. I'll see you guys later. Adios, sale pues, orale pues.